How many times have you heard that the internet provides anonymous access? A long time ago, I believed in the concept, but as time passed, I learned that this is simply not true. I have tried to help my children understand what I've learned so that they understand why it's important and why I have certain expectations. I have found that there are two sides to this argument that need to be understood when thinking about your kids safety online. Being anonymous before something happens and being anonymous after something happens. Kids are misinformed that the internet is based on being anonymous which can cause them to do certain things they would not normally do. Out of the box the internet connection in your house and all the computers that use it normally live at one address. Take your home address and the postman delivering mail as an example. Your mail, your kids mail, even junk mail are delivered to your one home address even though there are many people there. When your kids think about being anonymous they think in terms of the internet community as a whole. They are not worried about your address only that they are not known in the greater community. They feel that they are protected by being an address among other addresses out there. Who will know? This is a dangerous way to live online. As parents, we are responsible for everything that goes on at our home address, whether we are physically there or not at the time. Same thing goes for our internet address. For example, your kid knows if they are to have a party at home and the music is too loud, the police can show up and they will probably contact you. The kids know they will have to deal with your wrath afterwards. Ironically, your kids do not have the same thought or concern when it comes to the internet. We need to make sure that they understand the same thing applies to the virtual world and that the notion of being anonymous is really more theory than reality today. A little coaching in this department can put things in perspective for them so that they are set up for success. As you may have noticed, some important situations are starting to grab the attention of the news media, such as cyberbullying, retaliation, and gossip that stem from the misconceptions in anonymous internet access. These are real threats that every child faces, and the effects can be very damaging and long-lasting. These threats are based on the myth of anonymous access. Children do not understand the big picture of cause and effect online. They should be taught that the internet is like a sponge and can retain a great deal of information for a very long time, good or bad. As parents, we need to help our children understand that the internet is forever. It is almost impossible to undo any actions when they are recorded on the internet. Again, a little coaching in this department can help your child understand that others can physically suffer with the actions that are taken in the virtual world.